Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom. This time I want to talk about the options text commands that I showed you in 2013 already. So it's been over 11 years that I've showed them. And especially with Life 12, there's been changes in the UI, which means that the show device slots command isn't quite as obvious how to use anymore. So just as a reminder here in Life 11, you can see here at the site, if you use this command, that you can click on this little button and then you can see the device slots, which is really useful. And that's why this command has been the most popular. So now when we look at Life 12, these little bubbles on the site are gone, but the command still works. We just have to access it through the menu under view. And then we go down to mixer controls. You can see that when you use the options text file with this command, that the device slots are here now available. So when I turn this on, you can see they're back. So now let's have a look at all the other commands that I've showed you in the videos 11 years ago. So the next one is enable map to siblings. And this no longer works. Why? Well, if I take this, for example, and take map this to macro one, I no longer need this command because now you see this is mapped here. And if I do a right click again, you can see map to all siblings, which is the exact same thing. So they use this option text command and put it in Ableton Live directly. The next one is auto adjust macro mapping range. And you could already see this in action when I map the volume here. So basically without this, it would have mapped the setting to uh, minus 36 dB as the lowest value. And now it's set to minus 12 dB. This can be both very useful and also annoying. So you're going to have to try it out if you find it useful. If you do not like the setting like this, you either have to remember that you wanted to set it to another setting and set it to that or you can always go into the macro mapping mode and then adjust it later on. So next up, we've got plugin auto populate threshold that used to work with the setting of minus one to set the maximum allowed parameters at once. And if you don't know what it does, so basically I've already checked with this one, it works, for example. So if I unfold this here, you see, instead of having to click configure and configuring all the parameters that you want to be able to map and automate, it does so automatically, but it does not work with every single plugin. So for example, I've tried it with Massive. And so if I go to the VST version and unfold this, you see nothing appears. Whereas with the audio unit, it does work. So there seems to be an issue if there's more than 128, which is the maximum that you can set it to. So if there's more than 128 parameters in a plugin and a big one like Massa, for example, has a lot, then in the audio unit, so on Mac, it will still work. But that's not the case for VST versions. So it works for smaller plugins, for VSTs and audio units, and it seems to work for all audio units. After that, we've got no VST startup scan. That no longer works. I don't have an explanation for why, but it shows you on startup that it doesn't. Next up, we've got the thinning aggressiveness. That no longer works either, but there's a good explanation for that. And I'm not sure if that was already in Life 10. I think it might have been. Basically, what this command did, it allowed you to basically, when you recorded automation, you might have created a lot of breakpoints, but it didn't make any sense to have that many breakpoints. And so it basically smoothed out the breakpoints. 
But then I think it was life 10 that was included in Ableton Live automatically. So this command became void. Then we've got two rewire commands. First off, rewire master off and rewire channels. They don't work from life 11 anymore. And the first one throws up an error as well. That is because propeller heads discontinue rewire. And so Ableton have taken out Next up, we've got no auto arming. This still works. By the way, everything that I've been talking about so far and until I'm talking about new options text commands specifically for life 12 applies to life 11. So with this command that still works. So normally when you add a new instrument to a MIDI track, so let's say I drag the analog default in track two, then without this, command on this second MIDI track would now be armed and unless you don't have arming to be exclusive the first one would be unarmed automatically as well so if you don't like this behavior then this no auto arming command comes in really handy and the last command that I've previously shown you is enable arm on selection this one still works as well, both in Life 11 and 12. And what this does is that if you have a track, you've got to arm it once. And then if I select the second track, you can see it's automatically armed. And this goes for any track where the either audio from setting or MIDI from setting is properly set up. So it won't work with tracks that have a uh, the MIDI from set to no input because then you don't have a record button at all. And the same goes for audio from and audio tracks. If that is not configured or set to no input, then it won't work. But otherwise it still does work. Okay, so now we get into four new options text commands that were added for Live 12 specifically. The first one is called disable hotkey latching and what this refers to is the fact that now there are certain key commands like s soloing a track the selected track that if you just pressed it shortly would mean that once you let the, the key go again it would basically toggle on and off automatically so it'd just be a momentary latching of the key and so if you don't like this behavior because you find it annoying because now if you want to have the track soloed and stay soloed you would have to keep the key pressed for at least 500 milliseconds then you can use this key command to turn this new momentary latching off the second one is called feature browser async loading and that can be set to off and what this means is that now with the changes in the browser in life 12 parts of it will run asynchronously and so basically it can just more fluidly work and there's no blocking of the ui there might be a reason that you might find this not useful. Ableton haven't explained why that is, but if you don't want it, you can turn it off. So next up, we've got push to use legacy script as a command. And with push to, it now uses the same technology as push three, and it doesn't use the remote script. So the Python script, the control surface anymore. So that also means that are some UI changes with push to. If you don't like those changes, you can use this command to force the use of the remote script so that it still works as you used to. The last command that was added is restrict audio calculation to performance cores. That can be set to true. And that only applies to Windows. So there's basically a real-time threat affinity setting that was deactivated by default. And that is because otherwise the, the performance of new Intel processors could be quite poor because they now also have performance and efficient cores or efficiency cores. And so if you're on Windows 11, then you could revert to this previous behavior with this command. If you find that Ableton Live 12 is not running as well as you think it should, 
So that's all the new commands. Uh, we've run through quite a few. There are still a lot more option text commands that exist, although a lot of them are actually for developers. So they're for the Ableton developers to kind of test things and would not be helpful for you using Ableton Live. And then there's also quite a lot that might not work anymore. But I've been looking at other options, text command that I could find online and just would be interested in checking out what works, what they do, if they might be useful. If you're interested in this topic, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video in the near future about this. And by the way, if you like the theme that I've been using here in Live 12, that is a theme that I just made called Fawn that is specifically for Live 12. You can download it for free with the Ableton Live themes set that I just released last week. I'll just pop a link up above and below. And I'll also also add links to the written tutorial so you can download the options text file with all the commands that still work and the new ones. So you can easily just delete the ones you don't need and just pop the options text file in. And I'll also add an explanation where you would have to add the options text file on Windows or Mac if you've never done this before. That's it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you next time. Until then, bye.